Today we're gonna to be talking about the best multi-drivers. I'm gonna go over all of these. I'm super excited to show you guys these because I've used all of them and I like a lot of them. I'm gonna show you guys the features, what they're best for, let you guys get a look at them, see all the details, let you know my favorite parts about them. And I've got some pretty special things lined up. At the end, I'm gonna end up showing you guys what I prefer to use, my favorite, and also there's some pretty unique stuff in here, so stick around. We also have some different sections. So we start off with the traditional multi-drivers, what you're used to from Klein, that type of stuff. And we go into drivers that accept quarter inch bits, and that's where I'll kind of share my part of like what I like the best and how I like to use multi-drivers like this. And then from there, we'll go into some specialty items that are pretty cool. Some of them I just got my hands on and I like them a lot. So super excited to show you guys those. Comment down below and let me know if there's any multi-drivers that I'm missing. Let me know what your favorite multi-driver is and let me know what you guys wanna see next. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, we will start off with the classic Klein here. You guys have all seen this screwdriver probably. This is their five in one. They also have an 11 in one. That is not the one I've got on the table here. Okay, so it's got two bits on this one and it's a number two Phillips in a regular size flathead. And then they go into this, which is a nut driver here. Okay, it pops out spins around and then from there they've got a number one Phillips on this side and a smaller flathead now the 11 in one is the same thing and it I'll show you guys it in a second um, but the basic functions here are the same this is a hard uh, plastic and then this is a softer rubber you guys it's not super ergonomic it's so basic everybody has these everybody loves these they're super reliable. The bits last for forever. They don't fall out super often. Um, they can come out. It's not been a big issue with this one. There is a tiny bit of play in this. However, I do have to say, it's not my favorite handle, but it is definitely on the list. These are definitely so common. People love to use these things. So this is a newer one. It's from Tough Built. And this one here is a 12 in one. Okay, so it, pops out here this section comes out all right and now from here put that down from here you've got two bits on this side which this is a number two Phillips in a normal size flathead and then this is a nut driver and then the same thing over here but it's a number one Phillips in a little bit smaller flathead this right here is also a nut driver, another size, but when we pull this out, there is another section of bits here. And on this side, we have a number, see, these are super difficult to get out, um, which is good, because you don't want to lose these. But on this side, we have a number one and a number two uh, square, and then there's a nut driver Go ahead and pop that one back in there. And then on this side, it's a T10 and a T15 bit. Um, you almost, I have a lot of oil on my hands right now too, which doesn't help. Uh, it's probably easier with gloves, but then also another nut driver on this side. And the same thing goes for this end of the holder. Um, they don't fit, so like this, this section of bits won't fit in this section. They're different size nut drivers, but they carry pretty common sizes. So go ahead and piece this back together. My overall thoughts on this one, you guys, I really do like this one a lot. It is very, very, I mean, it's tough built. Let me say that. Um, it's it, The bits hold so well, and that's one thing that I really like because losing the bits is not something that I want to do, especially if it's what I'm relying on carries a lot of nut drivers handle is super ergonomic um, it's a very it's a, it's got a lot of grip to it these grooves are pretty large and if you have small hands I do have to say probably not a great option it fits in my hand well but I do have larger hands okay um, it is a softer rubber there's quite a bit of texture to it here I do like this handle quite a bit Everything seems to fit together very nicely, and it does have a shank here, just in case you want to put leverage on anything. Um, but yeah, and then the end here is a plastic cap. So these are, that's our number two um, of the normal 
multi-drivers that you guys are probably used to. This next one here is from Weha. I like this one a lot. There are a couple of features that make this great. There's a couple of features that make this not so great. I like a lot of the Weha tools. Um, this handle isn't as comfortable as their normal handles. That being said, it's just really large. Not a huge issue for me, but it is an issue for some people. Um, you know, it, it's a softer rubber. It, the black is a softer rubber and the red is a hard plastic. It does have the, the solid straight finger grooves right here for your thumb and index finger. But we'll go ahead and get onto the bits. Um, they do fit really well. This is, they do theirs a little bit differently too. So they have both of their flat heads on this side, which is something that I actually like because those are the two things that you use commonly are your Phillips and your flathead. And I don't like how they put the normal flathead that you use on the harder side to take out. Um, so if we pull this out, we've now got the number one and number two Phillips on this side. So if we pull it out now on this side, we can change it to a number one or a number two Phillips. Um, and then there's obviously there's a nut driver in both of those sides. I like that though, because you can go from a number two Phillips directly to a flathead, which is something that you have to do often. Um, but yeah, you can do that. So we'll pull this out. This obviously right here, that is a nut driver as well. Pull it out. Same thing in this section, but instead of the flathead and the Phillips, we have a number two and a number one square on this side. And that's got both the squares on this one piece. And then from there on the other side, there is a T20 and a T25 bit. I like the T20 and the T25 bit instead of the T10 and T15. It's a lot more common uh, for us to run into. And then there are different size nut drivers on both of these piece, this piece right here, as well as this end of the shank. It's also got a different size nut driver. So we'll go ahead and put this baby back together. Now the bits, are not as snug in this as they are in the tough built, but this I would say this definitely rivals the fit of the actual uh, Klein driver. Now I do like the way that these bits fit. Weha does make a very a well machined driver bit, so that part is cool. And then onto one of my newer discoveries, Mega Pro. This one here, it's a very very unique driver. And there's a couple things that I really like about it. Um, for one, this is just super well made, okay? So first of all, this spins, which I like that. The yellow also up here spins, which is nice. So you can rotate and hold it in the place that you need it to. The bits, it's a quarter inch bit holder here, but they come out and they are double-sided. They are a special bit from Mega Pro, but when you need a replacement, you just have to order one. And the cool thing about it is the bit storage. This is where things start to really get interesting. And it kind of mixes in what I'm gonna show you guys next with what I use the most often with this more traditional style. So when this pops open, <clears throat> first of all, it spins, which is great. But it's got all these double-sided bits. So it carries 14 different sizes of screws the only thing you lack here is a nut driver, which I'm going to be honest with you, that's probably the, the part I use the least. I really like that it has the 14 different sizes of bits. And so it's got a number one and a number two Phillips. It's got a zero and a number three Phillips. It's got two sizes of flatheads here. It's got a T20 and a T25 bit, a T10 and a T15. It's got a number one and a number two square or a Robertson, depending on what you guys call it but anybody who wants to correct me on that, you guys suck for that. I also got a zero and a three square on there, which is something that I don't really run into super often, but I'm sure somebody does. Now, the really cool thing about this is there's no play in this whatsoever. So so when I'm, I'm pulling on this bit, there is zero play. Um, I, I pull it out. It's definitely because of this ball that's here um, in there, but I mean, there is, no play in this at all. And that's definitely where things start to get pretty interesting. This next one here is quite a bit different. This is a multi-driver from Weera. And this thing is so cool. It's definitely one of my favorites. And the reason why is because it has this bit holder up here and it just pops out and you can replace these with quarter inch bits. 
Now, another cool factor about it, because there are a lot of really features in here that you just don't think of, and none of these other drivers have had. So if I push this collar down, I can actually push this in. So now I have a shorter driver and it doesn't take up as much space. It doesn't take as much space up in my bag. And it's also slightly shorter in case I need a shorter uh, screwdriver. It's not quite a stubby, but it's close. And then to extend it, you just push this collar back and it extends out. To take it out, you push it all the way down and it just pulls out. So you can even put a regular bladed in, in here and so it's skinnier. That is one of the only downsides is that the blade isn't skinnier, but you can get skinnier blades and put them in there. And the reason the quarter inch bits are so impressive is because of the way that it stores these. Now, I've got this all customized out and I've got different bits in there than what people normally use. I've got a number number two, I've got a T25, I've got a number three Phillips, a number two square, a number one square, a number one Phillips. Um, and then I've got this flathead that's in there now because that's what I most commonly run into. The other cool thing is that if you need to put this in your impact, you can, which is just, it's just nice to be able to, to do that in case you need a random screw. Um, you need a number, you know, a number, uh, a T25 bit uh, in your impact. You can always put it in there. The handle's super ergonomic. I know it looks strange to a lot of you who aren't used to this style of handle. I love this style of handle. My hand fits so well on here. It's crazy. The finger grooves on here. It's just a, it's a great screwdriver. Weira makes a lot of great products, but this is where it starts to bridge the gap from not just regular drivers where all the bits fit in one, but where they start to adapt and they use this quarter inch bit holder. And I'll show you guys why that's so important at the end, but I'm going to show you guys a couple more of the, my favorite screwdrivers in this section where they start to go from not just the regular multi-drivers, but more so the uh, quarter inch bit holders. This one here is from Hazet. It's incredibly ergonomic. It does not have all the features that the Weira has on there, but I really like this handle a lot, okay? It's just a ball almost, um, and it, it fits in your hand very, very nicely. Now this, I've got a bit in here right now to show you guys what it looks like as a screwdriver, but um, I'll show you guys one of the reasons too that it helps me save so much storage, not just for this, but for my impact at the end. I'll show you guys this Weeha bag and what I carry in there and how it saves me so much room. You just pull this, this collet back the same way you do an impact and you push it down and it fits in there. There's not any play in this at all, uh, which I like. And like I said, it's nothing special. It's just ergonomic and it looks cool. Okay, now these are rechargeable and manual. Now the gray is the high speed and the black is the normal. They're both amazing. I'm gonna show you guys on the gray here, um, but they're both the same exact functionality. One just has a higher speed to it. One of the cool things about this, it, it does take quarter inch bits. So you just pull up that red collet right there. And then in order to put it in, you do have to pull it up and push it in from here. All you have to do to get it to go forward is press this forward and it goes automatically. That's awesome. Um, it, you don't have to worry about like stripping out screws, but you don't have to worry about doing everything manually. And then to go backwards, you just press it back towards the ball. Um, and then the cool thing about it is if you're not using the automatic feature, you it's, it's a manual screwdriver, okay? So that's the coolest part about this is that you can actually still torque stuff down with your hands. You can just like run most of the threads in with the automatic feature in here and it's just like, it's just rechargeable with this little USB port here. Now I found this to be super reliable so far. I really like it. It doesn't over torque stuff, which is what I always do with my impact. And I end up stripping out some screw somewhere that I really can't afford to. Um, but it's a very unique design here with this ball. As you guys can see, I, I know it's strange, but I really like this. Um, it fits nicely with my, in, uh, whatever this finger is here um, on that. And same thing with my whole hand around it here. Boom, boom. It's got a little light on it. Um, and it's the exact same thing for the black one as well. But you guys, this is a, definitely a game changer. It's one of the more expensive options on here. It's not hard to tell why. It's pretty obvious. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this one down here. This baby here is a Weira Zyklops and it is the pocket set. Now it's a ratcheting deal. 
Now, it's not just a ratcheting screwdriver. As you can see, it has a quarter inch bit holder in there that's magnetic, which means that it can not only take these longer shafted blades, but it can also take the shorter shafted blades. So that means it can turn into a stubby if you want it to, because it rotates. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pop this back in there, but it rotates, it has 90, it has this higher angle here. It can go straight, or obviously it can go the other direction as well with the same uh, two degrees. You just pull this green thing down here and boom. In order to switch rotations, all you have to do is twist the green here and now you're tightening to switch it back, flip it the other way. Um, and you can do that while it's turned long ways. So not only is it, is it ratcheting, but it also has a 3 8 head on it, which is cool. So you can take sockets straight to it. Now it gives you a stubby, a ratcheting stubby at that. And it also gives you the option to put sockets on there. Now it does not hold bits extremely well because there is nothing locking it in other than a magnet. It's strong. Okay. So I'm pulling on it here. Boom. Finally came out. As you guys can see, my hands jerk. You guys know what it's like. Now, another cool feature about this one here is you got bits back here. So we'll just go ahead and pop this open. It's really hard to do on camera. You guys, everything's so much harder to do on camera. Um, but it's got two sections of bits here. And so that's a total of, so that's a total of 12 bits plus whatever bit you have in there. Um, so you can use these in, in it as a stubby or if you have a bit holder at the end here. You can replace these and use them that way. And it's ratcheting. This also rotates. This this is super awesome, by the way. And the, the mechanism on this and the ratcheting mechanism on this are fantastic. But it's a cool way to store all those bits and have them all with you all the time, especially if you're using your Impact 2 with a bit holder. Um, but one thing that this does, there is a little bit of a downfall, other than the fact that it's not holding it extremely well, like it won't come out. Um, the other thing is, is that it does not have a standard function. Like it's always ratcheting one way or the other. It doesn't have an in-between for you to manually um, do it, which sometimes is annoying when you have loose screws. That is one of my favorites. But we'll get into some of the specialties. Number one is this Stubby from Klein. It is an interchangeable. And so we've actually got on this side, we've got a number two Phillips and a regular size flathead and also a nut driver. I believe that's a 5 16 nut driver. We'll go ahead and push this back in. And honestly, I think the bits fit better in this than they do in their even their large driver, but it flips around and it has the larger um, the larger flathead in here and a number one Phillips. And then this side has a different size nut driver. I used to use this thing a ton on ceiling fans before I got the Zyklops and used the ratcheting function with it turned sideways. Um, that's just like, it's just the easiest way for me to do it now. That being said, this is a much less expensive option than this. This is quite a bit more expensive. However, it does serve a lot of different functions. We'll go through these electronic drivers real quick because these are also multi-drivers. This one here is from Klein. So it's actually got a, a, a double zero Phillips and a small flathead and then a nut driver on this side. And then we'll put this back in there because I do not want to lose it. And then on this side, it's got a number zero Phillips on this side as well as a flathead and another nut driver. I've only used these nut drivers one time in my life. I'm sure some of you guys use them way more than I do. Um, and then the cap on this spins a separate so you can push with your hand and turn it um, with those little screws, especially that's super useful. Same thing. It's got a really hard uh, plastic here and a rubber piece here. I do like this screwdriver a lot. I still use this pretty frequently. This is the mega pro electronic series. So it just, they, they have a bunch of different mega pro drivers that carry a bunch of different bits. Um, but this one carries just some tamper proof bits and some stuff like that, that I run into every now and then, but I don't carry a separate thing for. So it's kind of nice. It's got the same great features as the other one. It's got this, this no play in this whatsoever. I love that you guys, it feels great. Um, the red part here does spin. So it spins separately and same thing with this back here. Um, just in case you're, you're holding it in whichever way you're holding it. Um, it spins, but from there, 
this back pulls out and there's seven different bits that fit back here, but there's they're double sided. So there's actually 14 different bits and there's a plethora of bits and whatever you guys are looking for, Mega Pro has a driver that does that. I can promise you that. I found that one out pretty, uh, pretty easily uh, since I've been looking at their stuff, but it's super high quality and I really love the feel of it. It's not super ergonomic, but it really is just so high quality that it's like, it's really nice for that dedicated driver that you need every now and then. <clears throat> then from there, we have this little pin from Mega Pro. It looks just like a marker, um, but if you pull this off, you've got a very small flat head and a very, I believe this is a double zero Phillips bit and it just slides back in there and the, the cap goes on and then this pops off and it's got uh, a number zero Phillips and a larger size flathead, but it pops out as well. Just a cool little driver there, which I like the functionality of it. It's just definitely unique, um, which is something that I appreciate. Unique tools are always something that I'm looking for. Um, and this is that, that is for sure. So my favorite preferred setup, you guys, is definitely to have one of these from Vessel and to also have um, this ratcheting deal here. And the reason why I keep both, okay, hear me out, is because I keep this bag with me for all of my impact bits. And basically it has everything I need to do to drill. It needs has everything I need to do to drive nuts and different fasteners. I've got long Phillips bits. I've got long square bits here. I've got everything I need in order to make whatever contraption I need to. I've got number one square, number two square. I've got Torx bits. I've got everything that I could need in here. Having both allows me to have a stubby in one and also a ratcheting uh, screwdriver. And it also takes sockets, which is awesome. And then on the, at the same time, Anytime I need to use the functionality of this being rechargeable, I can, but it fits both and I can use either driver, whichever way I would like to. And at the same time, I can also throw any of these in my impact and I can drive in fasteners and I can drive in tap cons. I can drill through wood if I need to. I can open up a box a little bit with a step bit and it covers all of my bases, right? And that carries like that covers me from having to carry a thousand different screwdrivers and nut drivers and all that other different stuff. So that's really what saves me the most space. Now that being said, the place where it limits you is that if you're just throwing something in your pocket and you want to just like take one screwdriver, then yeah, you're going to want something like this. I prefer to not do that. I really like the thinner blades. I really like um, the, I think better fitting bits. I think the other bits fit better than the ones that are in these multi drivers. However, if you're the type to just throw it in your pocket, you might want to check out this Weha one or the tough built. Like I said, these handles are both a little bit larger. Definitely the Weha is larger than the tough built, but they're great. And the same time, the mega pro, it doesn't have the nut drivers, but it does function super well. So if it's something you're looking to cover your bases in your bag, you guys might want to check that out. And then there's always the Klein. It's the classic. Um, however, this is definitely the setup that I really like to rock the most. If you guys want to see more about these Vessel screwdrivers, head up to this video here. I covered a lot of their tools. Or if you guys want to see what I carry in my tool bag that I just set up, Go ahead, head up to this video and check this out. You'll see some of these drivers in here and you'll see just how I work them into my workflow. So go ahead, check that out. But I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next one.